Hey Zio, Coach Nicole, bringing you back in my kitchen. I have a couple more meal prep ideas for you, both including a jar. Last video, I did a overnight oats recipe. This one, I'm gonna show you how to make it in a jar. I have two previously peanut butter jars, glass jars that I'm going to reuse. So for the overnight oats, it is the same recipe except for using pumpkin. I'm going to use a protein powder for a little bit more extra protein. So I already have majority of my ingredients weighed out. I have 40 grams of oats. Then I'm going to use some PB2. Just going to use a half of a serving which is 12 grams then I'm going to do a full serving of this protein powder just like 38 grams so that's quite a bit this is all in there see I already have some almond milk weighed out. This is a half of a cup of almond milk, which is a half of a serving. We're just gonna start with this much first, and then if we need to add some more, we will, once we stir it up. For the Greek yogurt, I always add Greek yogurt into the mixture as well. We're going to do just about a half of a serving of this, which is about 85 grams. gives the overnight oats just a little bit extra thickness and more protein. Who doesn't love that? Right, I'm gonna use a butter knife to stir this all up. See what our consistency is. We need to add a little bit more milk. Sometimes depending on your protein powder, you may need to add a little bit more. Sometimes the protein powder mixes up really well and sometimes it doesn't. So actually this consistency doesn't look too bad. What the When we set it overnight and we get it out in the morning, the oats are going to soak up all of this liquid. So it looks really good right now, this consistency. So we're just gonna let that sit. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is show you a quick snack with using the other jar. So um, my go-to snack as well as my husband's is getting some frozen fruit, Greek yogurt, and granola. So that's our carbs, our protein, and our fats. So I already have some granola weighed out um, in a separate baggie. So we're going to take a full serving of frozen blueberries and we're gonna add those to the bottom first so a full serving is our I already have it weighed out is um, 140 grams so I'm gonna put those in the bottom first and then I'm going to add an actual full serving of this Baye yogurt which is 170 grams so we're gonna add that right on top of our frozen blueberries This is already packed in a cool little yogurt parfait. You can add some more toppings like some nuts or some seeds or maybe do half blueberries, half strawberries, any kind of berries that you like. I like the frozen because it stays longer. And then when we go to eat this tomorrow, they're already kind of softened and thawed out and mixed in with the yogurt. It just makes it like a blueberry yogurt. It's just really awesome. So for both of these, we're just gonna add the lids and store them in the fridge. And then when we're ready to eat them, just take this out. We add our granola on top of it. We have our carbs, our protein, and our fats. So these are just a couple of uh, different um, ways that you can reuse some peanut butter jars, one for overnight oats and one for a yogurt parfait. Hope you enjoy.